in reality, this was kind of a genius move by Trump. And Trump has always been a marketing genius. I mean, I've talked before on the podcast about how it's Trump who created the Trump brand, not his dad. His father was kind of this introspective, quiet, brooding fellow, Fred Trump, very successful in real estate, to be sure, but not somebody who made the Trump brand uh, a not just national, but international brand. Donald Trump uh, did that. So Trump has an instinct for this kind of stuff. And so why does he go to McDonald's? Number one, because it is the best way to expose Kamala Harris's fraudulent claim, which was a stump line for her. She used to work at McDonald's. She's an ordinary person. She had a job at McDonald's just like everybody else, except, well, she didn't. She didn't. Now, any other Republican would be like, it has come to our attention that Kamala Harris never worked at McDonald's. Uh, contrary to what she said, we demand an apology, blah, blah, blah. This is not Trump. Trump's point is, let me go work at McDonald's and I can then say I've worked at McDonald's for like 15 minutes longer than Kamala Harris. So in other words, I will use ridicule to expose the fact that, I mean, look, it's, it's pathetic to lie about things you did, but... I suppose for me, it is somewhat understandable. Sometimes people claim, well, I, I went to Harvard. It turns out, well, you didn't go to Harvard, but you went to Harvard like extension school. Or uh, I, was, I was in charge of Merrill Lynch. Well, no, you were the deputy to the vice president. You weren't really running Merrill Lynch. But my, these exaggerations, although annoying, are somewhat believable. But who lies about, I used to work at McDonald's. You know, it's, it's crazy. Someone who lies about that could lie about anything. And that's the point. I think that's the point that Trump is trying to italicize. But the other thing about Trump, this is like the dual benefit of his McDonald's appearance, um, is it is a kind of touching sight to see a guy who's a billionaire not only put on the overalls, not only be instructed by some 20-something about how to make fries, but Trump shows a kind of genuine humility. Uh, you know, all of this cuts against the idea that he's a megalomaniac, he's a bully. You know, Trump is interacting in a very gentle way with people who are living the ordinary life and working at McDonald's. And then very tellingly, I don't know if you saw those scenes in social media of the people coming through the drive through and how they implore Trump, hey, I'm from Brazil, you know, they've destroyed my country, please, uh, we're counting on you not to not to let them destroy this country as well. Or the Indian guy, there was an Indian fellow who like literally puts his, his hands together as if he's praying. He's obviously not praying to Trump, but he's imploring Trump, hey, Trump, help us to save the country um, and, and by implication, the world. 